Does experience always kind of carry the edge when you when you look at maybe naming the starting cube? Well, experience is obviously a huge advantage. I mean, you've been in the stadiums before. You've you've gotten ready for a game before and gone through all the butterflies and uh, and the anxiety to go along with it. And then obviously just dealing with the complex defenses that you see in the SEC. I mean, there's some really good defensive coordinators, obviously running around this league and and. Uh, that calls a challenge. So being being in the battles before definitely helps. Did the missed time in the spring put him behind at all in terms of? Well, it's not. It's never a positive not to get the reps. You know, the more you can add reps in your in your uh, you know your pocket, that definitely helps. And, and so it's not a good thing. But I think we've got 29 practices to to get him as prepared as we possibly can. Are you more inclined to lean towards an experienced guy? Or? guy with more talent or just hoping that one guy has both? Well, I think that's a really good question. I think that's a question that if coaches really knew the answer to, um, you know, we'd all be a lot smarter. So so I think experience is a is a great indicator. Obviously, uh, talent is a great thing to have on your side. We just got to figure out who's going to um, be the most productive.